All right, it is time to get out of bed. There's We don't have the need for alarm clocks around here because as soon as the sun starts coming up, the birds start singing. It's like a natural alarm clock. So uh, we're just going to sleep in and around here. You ready to eat? Let's have some breakfast. If you want to go do a sale, you got to go. That's a good boy. <laughs> It's a Friday morning, so it's a big day for this guy because it's our live sale day. Huh, boo? Oh, so you know when I have a camera. You know it's different. Good morning. What are you doing? Do you have new friends in here? We moved the cockatiels over to this side because we have, oops, because we are having a little bit of a issue on the other side, uh, which I'll share. But so we've got uh, Pip, Gordo, and Pearl are over here. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about being friends with Bougie, huh? Good morning, guys. Good morning. What you doing over there? What are you doing? You guys gonna learn to talk to each other, huh? You're saying yeah? You're saying yeah? Wanna play peekaboo? Aw, peekaboo! Oh, it's so silly. Oh, and Miss Jealous. Oh, you can't stand it. You can't stand that I am talking to the birds, right? You had just had to hop right back over here. All right, Booge. I got to I got to get out of bed. I got to get out of bed. We got to start this day. Okay? Is that okay with you? Yeah. I love you. Oh, All right, it is time to get out of bed. There's, we don't have the need for alarm clocks around here because as soon as the sun starts coming up, the birds start singing. It's like a natural alarm clock. So uh, we're just going to sleep in and around here. And I have lots to do. It is live sale day, so I have to go get everything ready for that. So uh, I'm going to get out of bed now. Get the rest of the critters taken care of. Okay, first win of the day. I made my bed. Yay! I'm trying to make a point of doing this. I've heard that it's psychologically very important to uh, make your bed each day, so I try to do it. Um, next thing I do is uh, give this guy a little treat. It's coming. Hold on. I can't... I'm trying to get my hand out of there. Okay, I don't usually do it one-handed. You want a pistachio? <laughs> you gotta ask me. You want a pistachio? There you go. There you go. It's actually a chili pepper, but you know, a treat's a treat. All all treats are pistachios to this guy. There you go. Yeah. Oh, now my finger. Not my finger. You want the rest of that? He's looking for, he's looking for a pistachio. Okay. You eat, you eat your chili peppers. You eat your chili peppers. There you go, buddy. There you go. You'll get to come out in a little bit. Hi, guys. How are you this morning? Are you happy, birds? Hi. What you doing? What are you doing? Hello, sweet boy. Oh, you playing with the toy? I love it. You, uh, you play with the rope and not the toy. And there's our little, he's our little scared guy. He, uh, we got the two baby boys to be friendly with him and give him company. 
And he's coming around a little bit. He's coming around a little bit. Huh, Gordo? Yeah. You coming around a little bit? Yes? Yeah, you're too sweet bird. He's just so scared of everything. Not you. Look at you. Oh, you're scared of the camera, though. Yeah, you're not used to cameras. I'm sorry. Did the camera scare you? No, you're going to come over here and see what it's all about, aren't you? You're curious. Okay, let's get this day going. Okay, the lights are still off in the aquariums. It's a little dark over here. Let me turn some overhead light on. All right, this tank right here is my reef tank. Hello. And uh, before the light comes on, I have to treat it with some alkalinity treatments. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, I'm not sure I can do this one-handed. Let's see, I've got to measure out. Oh, there we go. Measuring, measuring, measuring. We've, we've been playing with a dose that is a good maintenance dose. It's just below 10. So, okay, now I definitely know I'm not gonna be open, able to open the lid one-handed, so stand by. Okay, lid is open. This is so fun when we pour this in. Ooh, it makes it like it's snowing in the tank. And then it dissolves in there. And what that does is it helps all the little corals and things that need the alkaline have enough to pull out of the water. All right, let's just take a peek over here. Oh, hello, banana. Is that your little resting spot? You're so cute. Hello, Snappy. I know, as soon as your light comes on, we'll get you some food. Oh, there's one of our cowries. Where did the other one go? They're on the move. They're on the move. Oh, I don't know where the other one went. You shall find it. So, <laughs> this is still the state of my Christmas putting away. I've got the I got the pile and I got the tree down to this much, but I just haven't quite been able to complete this. But I'm having all of my uh, people from the shop over on Saturday, so I I do. I do need to get this done and get this stuff back out to the garage. <sighs> yep, putting it on the list. Hello, guinea girls. So sadly, we lost little s'mores. This is Mocha. So we lost her cage mate. Mocha, I mean, uh, s'mores was, she was a pretty old girl. She was, she was already very, very aged when we got her and we have had her for almost four years. So. She lived a really good long life. So we tried to move one of these guys over. Actually, there's three of them in here. So we're like, oh, we can just have them two and two. So we tried to uh, incorporate one of these girls over with uh, Mocha and it was a no-go. It, uh, it was a guinea pig battle. So. <laughs> That didn't work well, so these these girls just have to stay. What we we want a much much bigger cage. This is our goal, so we have to figure out how to um, spend some time to just get them all to just get along in a neutral setting, and then um, we can get just one big giant cage for them all. I know I've gotten some comments. Your cage is too small, um, but it's not as easy. This actually it looks smaller on video than it is. This is actually a double cage and it is a large cage and they can get the zoomies and they they do just fine um but yeah we would like we would like we, we like all of our stuff to be as natural as possible so let's get you guys some treats so baby carrots one of their favorites yes the, the floor is a mess the floor is a mess cleaning day is coming <laughs> don't judge me no some of you will <laughs> it's okay um so baby carrots, it's one of their faves. There you go. Kiko, mama's go. There you go. Uh, but they can't have it too often because baby carrots have a lot of sugar in them. So it's like, it's like a candy. Actually, it's I, it would be the equivalent of us eating donuts. I think I think that would be the equivalent here for the carrots. But they sure do love them. So we do give them as a treat when we can. Here's some for you too. Look. Oh, do you want the carrots? Do. All right. You can have two. Two baby carrots. Where to mocha? So she's gonna just go in her corner and eat them. 
So what you have to remember is these are all rescues and Mocha, I'm trying to remember where she came from. She, she came out of, well, she came out of a very bad situation. It's just, we've had her so long. We've had, we've had her uh, almost as long as we've had s'mores. We got s'mores and then we got Mocha just right after that. Mocha was just a, a one year old baby when we got her and she was living all alone uh, in a very, very small cage. So uh, she was rescued and yeah, we've had her like four, four years. So she's, she's a mature girl too, uh, but hopefully she's got a few years left in her. And then the other three girls uh, were found in a backyard in the freezing cold rain uh, where somebody had just dumped them. So, of course, um, the friend who found them at their rental said, can you take them? I'm like, sure. <laughs> so we've had them two years. I want to say two years that we've had those girls. So um, guinea pigs don't live very long. They, they only have like a, a five to eight year lifespan. Uh, and we get ours up into that seven, eight year range pretty good so um, we're happy about that but it's just not long enough it's just not long enough to enjoy these little these little critters but we do love them we care for them yes we want a bigger cage so I just wanted to address that because the last time I showed the guinea pigs I got a lot of those comments so bigger cage will be coming okay we have cleaned up all of the live sale items for the day and I have to roll them back down the hall and into my office where I hold the sale and we will get things set up and film our preview. All right, it's feeding time. The lights are on. Let's get everything straight here. Ah, this one-handed stuff. So we feed, um, these little frozen cubes of brine shrimp, well, actually I need to put that lid back on and shake it up because this will never do. All right, we break it up in there. That's one-handed stuff. Yep, I know, I need a GoPro. Okay, you ready to eat? Let's have some breakfast. You ready, banana? You ready for some food? Everybody's ready for some food. Here it goes. Bloop. Bloop, bloop. Try to get about half of it in for breakfast and save half of it for dinner. They do love feeding time. A little snappy. Snappy's very, very happy when it's feeding time. Oh, Noah just came over. He's ready to go to work. As soon as we're done uh, with the feeding chores. You being lazy this morning? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come out and eat. I think he's a little intimidated by the snapper being such a fast mover. He's looking, he's looking for the food to come right to him. All right, I put more in there. He needed a little, little bit easier opportunity to come out and eat. I'm such a sucker. I'm gonna make him happy. It's gonna make all the crabs happy too. Still didn't find the other cowrie shell. Cowrie shell, cowrie snail. It's only a shell when it's not living anymore. It's very much alive. I don't know where it is though. See our little peppermint shrimp are over here dancing somewhere. Usually they're right in here. I don't see them this morning. All right, let's go feed the other tank. Okay guys, it's your turn. And then we take the empty containers back over with their tank water in there and then we 
put some new cubes in there and start it all over again. And these will thaw and be ready for dinner time. You ready for work? Got coffee? I got my coffee. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Aw, you're such a good son. What you got there, Noah? Hot cakes. Hot cakes. And a hash That's all I do. And I don't even do that every day. Oh, it's time to go get the bird. First, we gotta kick these guys out. Yep. Yeah, oh, you know what's coming. Hey, out. Thank you. All right. Here's the bougie bag. Rachel helps me. Hello. Are you ready for showtime? Are you ready? Are you ready to dance? Oh, such a good dance. Get down. Boogie, oogie, oogie. He's waiting for me to sing along. <laughs> All right, in you go, mister. Uh, oh, where are you go? No, wait, you gotta go. If you want to go do a sale, you got to go. That's a good boy. <laughs> that is him making. That is him making the zipper noise. All right, Boosh. Let's go do. Let's go do our live sale. You ready? You ready? <laughs> All right. They're like, why were we locked out? Why? We don't understand. We would only eat the bird once. Yes, we would. All right. Okay. We do this just to keep him safe. We don't need him flying all over the house, causing a ruckus. So he goes in his little carrier because my office is clear on the other side of the house. All right, let's let him. <laughs> You're such a crazy bird. Hello, hello. Do you want a pistachio? It's showtime. Yeah? You want a pistachio? <laughs> you want to dance? Let's dance. Get down. Boogie, yuggy, yuggy. Get down. Boogie, yuggy, yuggy. You are such a good dancer. All right, show's over. You're going to bed now. <laughs> he just—he does the zipper better than the zipper. <laughs> Booze, let's put you back away. Hi, Peanuts. How are you doing? Oh, it's getting dark in here. 
Show's over. Start. Hi, Ozzy. Oh, it's getting really dark. Okay, we gotta go put Bougie away. Oh, it's so dark. It's bedtime for you, young man. It's bedtime. Ooh. Okay, let's get you put away. Good boy. You ready to go to bed? You ready to go to bed? She has to you have your little midnight pistachio. Shirt. That's a big pistachio she gave you. That's a big pistachio she gave you. Yeah, you ready for bedtime? Aw, here you go. Here you go, little bird. Nighty night. Get your, your tail. There you go. Thank you, mister. Thank you. And he's going to climb up the wall like a little lizard. You're all tucked in. Good night. Good night, Boosh. Good night. I see you in the morning. See you in the morning, Boosh. We are on our way to go look at a house. I'm trying to find what street to turn on. Follow my little map, but we're not going to tell you where it is. Just in case it ends up being my, my, my house. I'm not going to like share the location. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we're on our way to go look at a house, and I have Noah with me. Oh, is this it? Oh, is this true? Okay. See you at the location. Oh, there we go. Oh, I like this fireplace a lot. Ooh, that's pretty. So, Noah, are these ceilings better for you? Ooh, it's, it's dark. Yeah. Oh, it's got a sunlight right there. Yeah, that's what I said. This, yeah. this room has a lot of natural sunlight. Yeah. So we could mount a TV right there. All right, kitchen. I know the kitchen's important to you, Noah, so scope out the kitchen, dude. What do you think? I like it. I like, I like this. I like the slanted ceilings. Slanted? Oh, it is slanted ceilings. All the ceilings go from oh. comfortable height to a They took top. the wine bar. <laughs> That'd be a good place for a trash compactor then, though. That's what I would put in there, a trash compactor. So, I like this. Oh, there's a fireplace in this room. Let's see. Go, go, go turn that light on. Oh, yeah. I like the fireplaces a lot. Okay, let's see. Bathroom. That's a window that looks out. Okay. Got a bedroom here. Oh, okay. No, this is the room that has the little AC that they have vented out. I wonder why, though. Interesting. Interesting. Because this room must get hot. Is this the bedroom? Is this is this the bedroom? Well, is this the closet <laughs> this to is, the Yes, this bedroom? is the closet that goes to this bedroom. Okay. So this they consider this the game room. So we got a wall AC over here too. But it has no, this one doesn't have any central air. No ventilation. So was this the garage that was converted? Yes. Uh, yeah, it looks looks like it. Huh. Where does that go? There's a lot of holes in the walls. That is another closet. That's a whole storage room. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this goes outside. That goes outside. All right. Revisit that in a moment. Okay. Yeah, just over an acre. This is the epic game room. Oh, the water heater is in here. I don't think that's an epic game room. So I wonder if that's just the water heater for. Was there a bathroom attached here? What's that the water heater for? 
Is that a bathroom? <laughs> Very interesting. What's going on here? So that would be your side of the house, Noah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. They have fire hoses on the wall. There's fire hoses on the wall. Oh, wait, That's an interesting decorating concept oh, there. <laughs> Well, this. That's a that's that's interesting. Now well, this would this would be Rachel's room with the tree on the wall. Shelving. There was a cat in here. I can smell it. Oh. Laundry room. Oh, what did you say? Oh. What did you put? Oh, this is the blue room. It's very blue. Okay. This is a gamer's room. Oh, was it? So this goes into the master. Okay, so there's a shower next to the toilet. And then there is a tub. Cute little built-ins. And then it's like the bathroom's almost as big as the bedroom part. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, they left mermaids on the wall. On the second day, on the first day, we counted mm -hmm. over 50. Oh my goodness. I think they lived here for a while. Let's see. It starts with Abby and Mason. Let's see how far up Mason, 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 Mason. 15. It's interesting. There are things that I absolutely love about this house and there's things I absolutely hate about this house. So I don't know, I don't know. But I feel like we found a really good realtor. I really, really like this guy. Um, he does a really good job. Yeah, yeah, he's very, very good about uh, answering our questions and being patient with us. And um, it was dark, I couldn't show you the backyard because it was dark, but it's an awesome uh, backyard. It is really, really a nice backyard, especially for having tortoises and and other critters so this place is definitely not out of the question but we're going to keep our options open and we're going to look at other places there's so what they did was they built they they converted the garage a double garage into not just one room but like three rooms and a bathroom so it's like a it's like a attached casita but Noah's not super thrilled about it. It definitely has seen some. That it's a little. It needs there. some repairs. It needs you it's know some bit. remodeling. But I, what I have to get through his brain is that if we buy the place, we can do whatever we want. We can make it whatever we want. So you got to look at the bones. You got to look at the bones. I love the main rooms. Yeah. The kitchen, the dining room, the entryway are incredible. Yeah. So I don't like the side rooms. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. We got to get home. We're hungry. Oh, well, you know, it's a patience game. You never know what's going to come up. That's going to be for rent, for sale. But um, I feel like, you know what, we, we got time this time. I'm not like being told that I have to move and a certain number of days. I've got time. Literally, I have until September if I need to take that much time. So we're starting the hunt now. We're going to find the right place and it's all going to work out. But now it is not only time to uh, feed our faces. Food is coming. Uh, we've got to feed some fish before the lights go out. All right, so we had to do a little coral rescue today. So this used to be a big beautiful green piece of coral and these guys kind of annihilated it i mean they just they ate it all up i love these guys they're so cool it's so cool to have cowrie snails in here uh, but then they were going after my other nice little piece of coral so he's in jack's old little place kind of recuperating he's not super happy he's got 
many of his little things are all closed up because he's like, I got shoved around today and I'm not happy about it. Uh, but we have saved your life, little coral. We have saved your life by putting you in there. So we can't put this one over in the other tank because it's got something called Aptasia growing on it. So what we're gonna have to do is get some more of the little peppermint shrimp, which you might be able to see one hanging out under there. They eat that and they need to finish doing their job of eating all of it. I don't see them right now. Uh, but without further ado, this guy and this guy would like some din din. All right, here you go, guys. Boop. We're just gonna give you the whole thing. Why not? I just feel like being generous tonight. He's like, oh, did somebody say dinner time? Oh, there's one of the little shrimpy dudes doing his little shrimpy dance. So I'm also going to make sure, oop, I got that up too high. I'm also going to make sure this coral gets some good eating tonight. I can't do it and hold the camera. Okay, I'm going to put it down here and then clean up my mess. So we have this big long thing here to put the goodies into and then I'm gonna shove it right down into here and give him a really really good meal make him feel all better there you go little dude there you go all right and we'll make sure that this guy gets some too is all kinds of nutrients that corals love. And we'll pour the rest of it over here so this guy gets some. All right, so nutrients going in the water. A little snappy's happy. Oh, we scared him. We scared him with the camera. He's, he's a little camera shy now. So, Little banana's resting back there, but little Snappy's doing great. They're very, very happy with him. All right, it's feeding time, guys. They do love their feeding time. snail up here. Oh, I see one of our little emerald crabs.
You have food for oh, us. <laughs> Let's have some food. Nami Namis, Nami Namis. We love Uber Eats, we love Uber Eats. Yes, I did not feel like going anywhere tonight, so food came to us. All right, cheesecake. Okay, one of these is onions, with onions. That's mine. And one of them is without. Can you guess who the without onions is for? Who? 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 I have onions. Oh <laughs> yeah, I missed her. <laughs> she doesn't, she doesn't like onions. <laughs> I almost got her. I almost got her. Darn it. All right. We're gonna go eat. You go be profitable and make it fun. Oh yeah, I'm getting up at seven. Well, I'm I'm not just getting up at seven. I'm leaving the house at seven a.m. tomorrow morning to go sailing. That will be coming up. Watch for it. 